So, first off, I apologize for the crooked video. I cannot get my camera to sit straight. But anyway, um, I was requested by one of my students to put up on YouTube a video of how to work through one of my more complicated problems. <laughs> so, if you don't have me for a teacher, my tests tend to be a little bit atypical in that the problems that you solve are more like stories than just typical math problems requiring you to translate the problem into a format that you could actually solve um, and do the math for. Um, I find that this increases critical thinking. So the next couple of videos will be um, worked out examples of how to approach some of these more complicated problems. So this is the first of them, and these are all problems I just kind of made up off the top of my head. Um, but they do require a slightly more in-depth knowledge of what you're actually doing. So this one references a pre-lab exercise for a Gen Chem lab involving a stock solution, and it gives you the um, amount of ammonium acetate being dissolved in water. So that's the first thing that you need to be able to do with these problems is dissect them. What looks useful? So that looks like a pretty useful piece of information right there, telling me the mass of the solid that I am dissolving in 750 milliliters of water, but the molarity isn't listed. That should be easy enough for you to figure out at this point, or at least I hope so. All we have to do is uh, mol convert this to moles. I can't talk today. This to liters, moles per liter, will give us the molarity. The instrument, so whatever instrument you're using for this lab, can only tolerate solutions of concentrations 5, point neg or five times 10 to the negative fourth uh, molar or less. So obviously this stock solution up here isn't going to quite cut it. Uh, it tells you that the glassware available in the lab includes 100 milliliter or 250 milliliter volumetric flasks in addition to one or five milliliter pipettes. And then it asks you to describe the procedure that you will have to do in order to create a solution of the necessary concentration. So I worked these out ahead of time for my students, uh, but I'm going to walk you through that now. So since we need a solution of point 0005 molar or less, we've got a little bit of calculating that we need to do. Since the solution is pre-made here, I can't just figure out how many moles I need to put in how many liters to get this concentration. I'm going to have to actually take some out of this and dilute it down to a smaller um, volume. But the only stuff I have available is my 100 or 250 ml flasks and then my pipettes. Since it says describe the procedure you will have to do, you have options. You don't have to do exactly the way that I'm going to show you here. You do have a couple of different ways that you could do this. The way that I approached it, oops, that's another problem, sorry. That's a later video. <laughs> The way that I approached it was from the perspective of serial dilutions. I, my, the way my brain worked this out, I thought that would be the easiest way to get from point A to point B and get that lower solution. So the first thing I did was calculate the molarity of my stock solution over here. So I took my grams of ammonium acetate, has a formula mass of 75.1, got my moles, uh, this was the volume that they gave us, so my stock solution has a molarity of about 0.654. So I'm going to have to take some out of that and then dilute it down. I decided to use a 1 mil pipette and a 250 mil volumetric flask because I thought that by using a small pipette and a larger volume, I would be able to dilute, to dilute down to that low concentration faster. If you chose to use a 5 mil pipette and a 100 mil flask, you would just use those volumes instead. If you're ever doing a problem like this on a test, be sure that you include words as well as your calculations to help your instructor kind of follow your thought process along through the problem. Uh, many students tend to kind of figure things out as they work through, so for me as a teacher, the more you can guide me along your thought process, the easier it is for me to understand what you've done, point out mistakes, and then in turn help you to improve that problem. So since I said that I was using one mil pipettes, that means I'm going to take one milliliter out of this stock solution here. So one milliliter milliliters are no good, I gotta convert to liters. I'm taking it out of my stock solution. 
So that means that now in my pipette I have 6.54 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of my ammonium acetate that I have taken out of my stock bottle. I'm going to put that into my 250 ml vol flask. I'm going to add another 249 milliliters of distilled water to get me up to that 250 mark on my flask. I have this many moles in this kind of volume, which gives this solution a concentration of 0 .003, roughly, but that's still too concentrated. They said my instrument could stand nothing more than 0 .0005, so I have to do another dilution. Here's that cereal part. We're doing another one. So out of this solution here, I'm going to take another milliliter. I'm still using that one mil pipette. Again, milliliters, no good. Got to convert to liters. Here's my molarity of that previous solution, which tells me that I now have 2.615 times 10 to the 6 moles that I have taken out of this solution. I'm going to dump them into my 250 mil vol flask. I'm going to add 249 mils of water. Brings me up to that 250 volume. Moles divided by liters gives me a molarity, and 1.046 times 10 to the negative fifth is less than that required 5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar solution. So this one is in fact dilute enough to be used in whatever instrumentation you're dealing with. So I hope that clarifies a little bit on perhaps one of these story-based problems, how you might approach them. Um, again, these are the types of problems that tend to show up on my tests because I would like you to be able to think, to apply your chemistry knowledge in a more lab-based situation, since practically that's the kind of thing you'll end up with in a college class. So the next video will cover another such problem. See you there.